It's the chaotic scene you didn't see on TV during the closing night of the Republican National Convention. Senator Rand Paul and his wife mobbed outside the White House as they tried to get to their car. Now the senator is talking about that moment, saying D.C. police saved him. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul is shaken today after being mobbed by protesters outside the White House. Paul and his wife Kelly were making their way back to the hotel after the president's speech when they found themselves surrounded. The crowd was getting bigger and bigger and pushing in. Uh, they were yelling threats. They were trying to push the police over to get to me. They were grabbing at us. And it got worse and worse and worse. At one point, a bike cop is pushed into the senator and they almost go down. I truly believe this with every fiber of my being. Had they gotten at us, they would have gotten us to the ground. We might not have been killed. We might just have been injured with, by being kicked in the head or kicked in the stomach until we were senseless. Brendan Gutenschwager shot the video. Quite frankly, he seemed terrified. The look in his eyes, he seemed like he had no idea what was going to happen with this crowd. The White House grounds were filled with dignitaries and invited guests. And as they left, many found themselves being loudly heckled, sometimes with profanity and lewd gestures. This man was pushed and punched in the head. The streets around the White House were packed with protesters. Blared music and air horns in an attempt to disrupt the president's renomination address, but he didn't seem bothered at all. Trump spoke for a whopping 70 minutes before an audience of 2,000 loyalists, all tightly packed together with very few wearing masks. There's one, there's another. Looks like a potential super spreader event. 2,000 individuals with no mass testing, no social distancing. It's really alarming. The climax, a fireworks display that spelled out Trump 2020. The Trump family and their significant others lined up to take in the spectacle. First Lady Melania wore a striking lime green Valentino gown that retails for $3,000, but the color selection may have been a mistake. Pranksters on social media turned it into a green screen, like those used in TV and movie productions. The mischief makers projected images of COVID-19 infection rates and Joe Biden onto it. You can put anything in there. And I'm with stupid t-shirt, Joe Biden, Stormy Daniels, whatever. I really don't care, do you? Inside Edition reporter Allison Hall tried on a green dress to similar effect. Now I'm a walking billboard for Inside Edition. Note to Melania, you looked amazing, but in the future, you might want to avoid wearing green.